Hey guys, oh, welcome, welcome, welcome back. This cute little set here is my colorful snowflake set. I love this set. At the time I did this, I was so over the Halloween nails. Like I wasn't quite ready for like Christmas nails, but I was over Halloween. And I felt like this was like a cute little in-between set. Okay, so these are the products that I use to complete this set. I use SXC Glow in the Dark for my solid color. And then I use Miss Cheering Shimmer Kit for my glitter colors. And then for the thumb, I did use More Van Blue. The reason being was that the blue snowflakes did not match the blue that came with the um, SXC Poly Gel. And so I had to find another brand. But that's what it is. Snowflakes and then these little pearls that I got from AliExpress. So we're going to start out with the solid color, which is from SXC. It is the glow in the dark. Again, it was a part of the Zodiac series. Now, when SXC was out, they were my number one favorite. And at the time, it was before I, had even, before I even tried eye gel beauty. So they were my number one. I don't know why they stopped making poly gel. It seemed like a lot of the really good brands just stopped making them. But I did love this brand. It was really, really nice, really easy to use. And um, I definitely always did recommend it. And with, once they stopped making, I kind of stopped using their poly gel just because I didn't want it to run out. But anyway, look, let me get back into it because I'm going to get the rambling on. All right, so here at this point, I've seen a little air bubble that needed to be popped. Here's a tip for you guys. If you see any air bubbles, definitely pop them because air bubbles turn into holes. You don't want any holes in your nails because then that destroys your foundation and you, your nail wind up popping off, lifting or whatever, breaking, whatever. So definitely pop those air bubbles when you see them. All right, so I'm just going to take that little poly gel, walk it back. Or here I'm just kind of putting it in a little ball. It's easier for me to work like that. And then just kind of walk it back up towards that cuticle area. All right, I am doing a ombre. And so I'm just going to take and drag that poly gel down. Here is another tip when doing a ombre. Take your first bead and bring it down or up past the line that you want it to go. So for instance, I personally like to start up at the top. So I'm taking my poly gel, drag it down well past where I want my ombre line to meet. Bring it down a little further. And then, of course, I'm doing one thing. It's all the same. And so now I'm going to go in with the green with from the green shimmer from Miss Cheering. Now, when I squeeze this bead on, I'm going to squeeze it right where I thinned out that first color poly gel. Another thing, when you're thinning out the, the first color, you want to drag it and thin it out so much that you can see through it. Like, if I was to take this form off, that nail will completely crumble in that area because that's how thin it was. You want it to be very, very thin where you're making your ombre. Now, I'm going to take my second color and go up over top of where it was super thin at. Like when working with an ombre, your main thing is you want to take two colors and make three colors out of it. So you want to take your first color, your second color, mix them in the center so well with so you can see a third color starting to appear. Then here I'm just taking that poly gel, dragging it down to the line that I want it to go to, which is usually like the side, the, sorry, the, the line 11 on the form for the first finger. My pointer finger nail bead is longer than the other ones, and so I kind of scoped that one a little shorter than the other fingers but here i'm just working that glitter up back some up again back into the whole thing with the ombre when i drag that first color down a lot further than where i want the line to meet i'm going to take this second color and drag it all the way up past where i want the line to meet again the whole goal is just to take those two colors and make a third color or shade in that center all right, go ahead and square it off, get my little shape in there, making sure that that bead was very, very thin. Also, squaring it off. Now, I did not cure. Just in case I didn't say it the first time, the first color was cured. Second color, not. Now, these little snowflakes I got them from AliExpress, they was like $4. AliExpress, oh, in here, the night before, I just went ahead and kind of separated and put it into this little container so the way it was easier for me to work. Now, AliExpress is not what it used to be. Like, I used to be able to take $10 per paycheck and just buy a few little things. And that way, I always say, like, products and stuff rolling in. But everything is just, like, starting to get really, really expensive. No matter where you go, it's just expensive. And so, I did spend, like, $4 for these snowflakes. But it is what it is. 
Okay, so for every finger for the snowflakes, I did use maybe five or six of the snowflakes. I took my brush, just put them on there, and then I took some tweezers and just kind of rearranged them, putting them where I wanted them to go. Um, it wasn't a whole lot to it. Like for this point, when you put your glitter in, you just put it wherever you want to go. Now here's another little tip. So I am encapsulating these snowflakes. I like to look at encapsulation as a sandwich. So for instance, the glitter would have been like that glitter grain would have been like my first slice of bread. These snowflakes here would be like the peanut butter and jelly. And then once I go in with the clear, that would be the top slice of bread. So just kind of look at it like a sandwich. All right, took a little alcohol on my brush, kind of pat them down into that wet or uncured glitter poly gel. Now, they did stick up a little bit, but it was what it was. Did that on all of the fingers. Then I'm going to go in with some clear again for this whole encapsulation thing. Just kind of do a three-piece sandwich, and it'll make sense. Squeeze a nice big glob down the center of the nail. Now, um, I don't like to work with clear. I, I can't see it when I'm working, and so it becomes a pain. But this is my favorite clear. Now, the thing with this is, oh, let me back up real quick. So, all I'm doing is take, I put the clear down the center with a lot of alcohol on my brush because this clear was sticky. I'm just pulling it over to one side, and then I'm going to pull it over to the other side. I just want to make sure those snowflakes, those glitter, um, the snowflakes, the glitter, and where my two separate color greens meet, I want to make sure all of those things are fully covered. I did not take the clear all the way back to my cuticle area. I put enough of the solid green back there that I did not need to um, take it all the way back. I just took it back far enough to where the glitter was covering that solid green. Now, I haven't seen this clear on Amazon in about two weeks, so I don't know if um, they won't be making any more of the clear or what. I don't know. But I was watching Nellie Nail's channel, and she did have some clear from Born Pretty. From what I can see, it was super clear, so I'm definitely going to have to give that a go. All right, now, I was so surprised when I took these forms off because, one, the color, the green, the ones, the four fingers was fully cured. Like, I didn't have to do no touch-up on the underside of that. Now, watch me struggle to get this daggone form off. This is one of the reasons why I don't like to work with clear because I can't see it and I just could not get this form off. I was using every tool that I had near me and it was hard to get, the form was just like ripping apart. I just could not get it off. The, the problem was the clear was just, I guess I scoped it down too far on the sides that I couldn't see it. But it, it was definitely a struggle getting them off of there. But again, they were fully cured on the underside. At least the four fingers. You guys will see in a second that the blue was not cured. All right, let's go ahead and remove that. Boom. It's real gunky underneath, so I had to go ahead and clean that up. Now, the reason being is that the blue from more than was a lot more a lot more dense and a lot more opaque than the SXC kit. And so the light just could not penetrate under there. But that's okay. I'm so used to this. I don't mind cleaning it up on the underside. Cleaned that thumb up, went ahead and cured that. Go ahead and give them a good a wipe down with some alcohol. I am wiping the whole thing, the top, the sides, like the whole nail, getting all of that stickiness off, and then wipe the underside. I usually just cut this part out, but I lay my hand down and get up underneath it to get it all cleaned out. Here's how they looked after application. They really wasn't that bad. I did not have a lot of filing to do, which is why I don't have no filing clips for this video. All right, so I'm going to take a little bit of the protein bond and go around my cuticles. Just in case you guys are new, the protein bond do not do anything special the way I'm using it at this point. I'm just using it to go around my cuticle areas to get that little crunchy, ashy look from out of there from after filing or whatnot. It don't make the nails last any longer or stay any stay on any longer the way I'm using it. It's just because I don't like to use cuticle oil. The oil on the nails just looks so greasy and grimy, and I don't like that look. So, All right, I'm going to just scoop out a little bit of the pearls in every color that I use. Now, I personally usually like to mix my sizes when I play with rhinestones and gems and stuff, but I only had this one size, which I believe they was like size fours. Now, I couldn't decide on which color I wanted to use for this pinky. I didn't know if the light one or the dark one, but I wound up going with the dark one, and it worked out perfectly. And then I took out some rhinestones, the same colors, just to kind of go in with it. 
Now, this little bling box, I made myself just some rhinestones that I have collected over the years and just put it in there. Okay, so now I am top coat. And first, I do top coat all of the nail. Like, you won't see it at this particular point, but I did take some top coat, put it on the nail, wiped down the sides, cured it, and I did do that for all the nails. I did top coat first. Now, I'm going to go in with a little bit of this, of this rhinestone glue. It, I call it glue because it's super thin, but it's advertised as rhinestone gel. But I'm just going to take a small little bead and put it directly in the center of the snowflakes. And then I'm going to take the rhinestones and put it right in the middle. So when I did this set, I, got, I don't know if it was like the glitter or the rhinestones, but I just feel like they wasn't showing as much as I wanted them to show. And so I took these little bling rhinestones and put it in the center just to kind of bring a little bit of the attention or focus to the rhinestone and not so much uh not so much of the colors nails pretty much. Hopefully that makes sense because I feel like I'm rambling. And then I just put a little bit more glue and then took those little pearls and kind of put it at the top of the finger just so it didn't look so bare and naked. I put like four of those on there. Did that for all of the fingers. Just kind of rearrange them. Make sure I like the way everything was looking. And just for anybody curious, yes, I put everything back. I, I don't like to waste products. But here's how they looked after. I love this set. I truly did. I definitely will be using these snowflakes again. Just not the same style. But let's look at all of them. This was the green. It was really pretty. Then the yellow. Now, the orange one was my favorite nail of them all. I just felt like the orange was really popping through. And then my poor little pinky don't have no strength. Like, that's why I don't never make it in the videos because I got to hold her down. But here is the nails. And I just thought they came out so pretty. Definitely will be doing a little snowflake set soon. But the video is at its end. So let me say thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching these videos. I truly love and appreciate you guys for that. Don't forget to continue to like, share, subscribe, send it to your friends, um, you know, whatever, that whole little works. Just please and thank you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And you know, I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.